Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about how you can create a pie chart within Matomo Analytics in order to uh, get uh, the URL of the pages. Uh, this use case came um, after listening to a client of mine who actually showed me a, a dashboard and um, I was kind of surprised to see that I could not create this dashboard as I uh, wanted because by default the page URL report within Matomo Analytics uh, cannot create any pie chart. So you need to use for that uh, what we call custom dimensions and uh, Lucas Winkler um, advised me to have a look at uh, the following guide uh, written by the Matomo team which is describing very well in fact the technique that I'm going to use uh, within this, um, this, this tutorial. Uh, th this guide is very interesting so the issue with it is that it still relies on the data which are already collected by default by Matomo. So to say, I uh, will consider that this guide is only useful if you are not using Tag Manager. But if you are using the Tag Manager, you can probably already enhance it a little bit more. And the method I'm going to show you uh, today will not going to help. Uh, so this guide is really interesting because it shows you uh, really smart ideas such as how to use the page title or about um, let's say advanced uh, regex pattern that you can use in order to just extract, for example, uh, the language based on the URL. Um, that's re really, really powerful. Okay, um, so in order to uh, to do what we want today, uh, it's kind of easy. You just need to go over here in uh, custom dimensions, and then once you are within the custom dimension, then uh, you're going to use um, this part over here which is the URL uh, regex extractor and you will in fact put into parentheses the value that you would like to grab in order for Matomo to, oh, I have a plus here, oh you can probably do something even more powerful but uh, let's, um, let's keep it as I was just showing it to you uh, some minutes ago. Uh, well, that's delete everything, that's the good, uh, all done, I'm just gonna go over here maybe just close these parts out uh i add it over here back okay so this is um this is what i want yep over here so you name the custom dimension um a name which suits you so in my case I just put url you just put it in an active mode and here well you may not have it right the first time in my case i had it wrong but i, I feel i figured it out but just looking at the log visit and then uh, here in my case just want to extract uh i just want to extract the value which is um which is uh, over here right so i would just want to extract this value and consider that this value is going to be the url because that that's what i want to do so that's why i have here my domain name and then a slash and then the value i want to extract nothing crazy here and as a result every time that a new page will be loaded then i'm going to send it to matomo um let's uh let's have a look at my matomo so this is my uh, my matomo i'm on the page url report and as you can see I cannot create over here any pie chart, so I'm stuck. If my client is asking me, okay, I just put within a pie chart the top 10 uh, URL, I cannot do it. So that's why in order to overcome this, uh, what you do is that uh, you create a uh, custom dimension, name the name that you want, I could have called it a page URL. And then this is uh, what it's going to look like at the end of the day. In my case here, the extraction is not like 100% perfect because uh, it's not taking into consideration the last uh, visit that I got. But if we look at the last visit, we can clearly see that the URL is grabbed properly. Uh, so it will be pushed uh, nicely to my Matomo. And here's the reason why I go over here and go on URL. As you can see, I can over here change it, making it as a pie chart. And then I get my, uh, my top three in my case. And I can, of course, afterward, just go over here on the dashboard, just pick up the custom dimension as I want and just uh, do the pie chart on, on the dashboard as uh, requested by, by my client. Whereas if I wanted to do just with the URL, I couldn't have made it. So uh, that's everything that I wanted to show you for today. I hope that helps for the people who are struggling and not uh, be able to um, create uh, the pie chart as they wanted. So the answer is a custom dimension. You don't need to add any 
custom tags on the page you don't even need to have the tag manager you can just do it just by uh, URL extractions hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching